And it seemed random. I thought maybe it was road rage. An early morning shooting spree stretching across multiple cities. Tonight, one person is dead. Two others are in the hospital. Police tonight say the man behind the violent rampage is now behind bars. Only on Fox 4 surveillance and our video of the moments before and after police nabbed the suspect. Fox 4's Malik Jackson live at police headquarters downtown. And Malik, you spoke with a witness who tried to give one of the victims first aid. Yeah, I did. Lauren and John, she ran outside of her house after she heard between seven and nine gunshots running to the aid of this victim that died trying to save his life as he took his last breath. But that's only a small portion of the terror unleashed by this suspect early this morning. In this video, you will only see on Fox 4, you can hear police as they approach the suspect they say is responsible for a shooting spree in Kansas City, Missouri that stretched into Grandview, shouting for him to get down. In this exclusive video, you see the moments right after he is arrested. All three of these shootings happened less than two miles from each other. The first at 819 near Ruskin Way in Sycamore Terrace. The victim is expected to survive. The second reported less than 15 minutes later here in this Grandview neighborhood. And so when I ran there and I saw that this man was slumped over, I immediately ran to his door. Phyllis Harrison saw all this play out and rushed to the victim's aid. He was gasping and slowly breathing and then I lift him up to try to help him. I saw at least seven bullet holes in his body and one in his throat. She says she was too late. That young man died here on the scene, but this suspect didn't stop there. He would less than five minutes later go and shoot someone else. That person has non life threatening injuries. Within three hours, police tracked him down, made the arrest while he was walking, then came here where you can see exclusive video of them searching the truck he was driving as he allegedly carried out this rampage. Then they towed it away. And I said a prayer for him before he took his last breath. So that was enough for me. I'm comfortable. I hope that he rests in peace. And you see there the best of humanity, even in the midst of these crimes. Harrison taking a moment to pray with this victim as he took his last breath. So what's happening now? Well, a law enforcement source tells me they're working, if they haven't already, to obtain two search warrants, one for the vehicle at the center of this case and a second for the backpack that this suspect was wearing when he was arrested. At last check, that suspect is in the custody of the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. John.